Now that you own a Craig Jig, you have the key that unlocks the door to almost unlimited building potential. With some basic knowledge of pocket screw joinery and Craig joints, you'll build faster and easier than you ever imagined. And you'll discover an amazing array of uses for your Craig as you build and repair around the house. This Skill Builder DVD lays the foundation for building with wood using the Craig Jig. From setup and basics to some advanced skills and tips, you'll learn how to create strong joints that are the basis for a wide range of projects. And we suggest you watch the entire DVD to learn the necessary skills for building almost anything. This DVD uses examples from Craig plans. Now, if you don't have these plans, they can be found on Craig's website. So let's get started building with the strength, ease, and precision of the Craig Jig. Craig Jig Basics. The Craig Jig is designed for simplicity and precision. And setting up your Craig Jig is as easy as it is to use. The main components are the bench top base, the precision drill guide, a step drill bit with depth collar, a six inch square driver bit, and an Allen wrench. The bench top base can be mounted directly to a workbench, and the drill guide block can be easily removed and is portable for use in repairs. Once you are set up, creating Craig joints couldn't be easier, and the magic behind it is as simple as the joints are to create. First, a pocket hole is drilled with a step drill bit that also creates a pilot hole. The jig guides your drill bit so that the hole is at the correct depth and the correct angle. Finally, the guide hole positions Craig's self-tapping screw to ensure a strong connection. Strength that multiplies with additional Craig joints. To make a Craig joint, you only need to drill a pocket hole into one of the workpieces and let Craig self-tapping screws do the rest. Craig joints should be placed every six to eight inches for optimum strength and stability. Typically, at least two joints are required in each piece to keep the pieces from twisting. For a project, like a cabinet face frame where two screws are placed close together, the drill guide is designed to place two pocket holes at once without having to unclamp your work. On most projects, pocket holes can be placed so that they are concealed in the final work. On more complicated pieces, it may help to sketch out placement of the pocket holes to help determine locations on the backside or underside of the project. When boards are higher than eye level, placing them on the top side of the boards can hide pocket holes. This is a good way to build bookshelves or the upper shelves of a cabinet. If the Craig joints have to be visible, they can be covered with Craig's plastic caps or solid wood plugs. These plugs are available in a variety of styles and colors. Craig joints work on all types of wood, including any solid woods, plywood, MDF, and even pre-laminated wood products. Some projects are made easier by purchasing pre-made wood products like shelving at your local home center or wood shop. And if you don't have a table saw, most home stores will cut sheets and boards to size for you. You will also find a large array of pre-made pieces like turned legs, handy panels, and pre-finished panels at your local wood or home store. Note that to ensure strong joints, wood needs to be squared on all edges that will be joined. Most home centers carry boards that are called S4S, or surfaced four sides. Although slightly more expensive than unsurfaced boards, these boards are guaranteed to be cut square, planed, and sanded, so they're ready to be used in a project without the need for further machining. The strength of a Craig joint comes from Craig's self-tapping screws. The screw's washer head seats firmly and securely inside the joint. They are made of hardened industrial quality steel, so they won't break off inside the joint. And because they are self-tapping, they won't split the wood and eliminate the need to pre-drill a hole in your second workpiece. A strong joint requires selecting the right length of screw for the board thicknesses you are joining. Screw length depends on the size of both boards. See your manual or craigtool.com for a complete chart showing the right screw lengths for joining different board sizes. Craig screws are available in a range of sizes and have fine or coarse threads. It is recommended to use a fine thread screw in hardwoods such as oak, maple, walnut, cherry, or hickory 
and to use a coarse thread screw in softer materials such as pine, plywood, melamine, MDF, and particle board. Before making a Craig joint, you will need to set the drill guide height, the drill bit collar, and choose the right length of screw. Set the drill guide height by aligning the appropriate marking for your wood thickness at the top of the bench top base. Then lock the guide into position with the index pin. The drill bit collar controls the depth of the hole you drill. Use the Allen wrench to loosen the collar and align the step of the drill bit with the marking on the base for your wood thickness. Then tighten the collar with the Allen wrench. Consult your manual or screw containers to be sure you have selected the correct screw. When using the bench top base, ensure that the clamp is set so that the wood is firmly held in place. If you are unsure about any of these settings, create a test joint using scrap material before joining the finished piece. To create your pocket holes, guide the drill bit into the drill guide hole of your choice. Plunge until you reach the depth collar and remove. Repeat until you have drilled all the pocket holes you need. Place each hole about 6 to 8 inches apart. To join the pre-drilled pieces with their mates, place the pieces together, add any clamps needed to hold material in place, and drive the self-tapping screws to secure the joint. Make sure the clutch on the drill is set low enough so that you don't overdrive the screws. A lighter clutch setting is best for softwoods and a more aggressive setting for hardwoods. It is possible to build projects with Craig joints without using clamps. However, clamping your pieces when you drive your screws will reduce your sanding time and improve the quality and finish of your joints. This is because when you drive the screw, the piece into which you are joining will tend to be pulled in the direction of the screw. Using clamps will lock your pieces in place so that the finished joint is more accurate. Craig manufactures a wide range of clamps for general and specialized building. These are discussed with each joint type in later sections of this DVD. One of the reasons the Craig Jig makes building easy is that it makes gluing optional. If you don't want to hassle with glue, you don't have to. Even better, Craig joints dramatically reduce building time when you are using glue to create stronger joints. Just apply the glue to your joint and drive the self-tapping screw. The Craig joint acts as a clamp so that you can move on to the next joint without using clamps or waiting for the glue to dry. Some Craig users even use Craig joints together with other joining methods like biscuit joints because the Craig joints eliminate waiting for the glue to dry. Skill Builder Now you understand the fundamentals of your Craig. To build a wide range of projects, it's helpful to know how to build the most common Craig joints. These examples will help you build using Craig's custom building plans. Now if you don't already have these, they can be found on our website. If you're not working with Craig's plans, you may be working with one of the thousands of woodworking plans that show joining wood with more complicated joinery techniques, such as mortise and tenon, biscuits, dowels, lap joints, and others. The key to success is being able to identify the basic joint type and understand how to join it using the Craig system. In fact, building projects like these used to require a shop full of tools and a tremendous amount of time and patience. But now you can build faster, better, and stronger with the Craig Jig. Frames are common in many types of woodworking projects, including building cabinets and bookcases. The pieces of a frame are on a flat plane and usually include a rail where pocket holes are placed that is connected to a vertical piece called the style. For example, on a base cabinet, pocket holes should be placed on the rails, then connected to the outside styles. It is easiest to build a face frame when your wood is exactly the same thickness because it will make a flush joint on the front side. When drilling the pocket holes, place at least two pocket holes across the back side of the rail to make sure that it will not twist when assembled. Then, position rails into alignment using reference marks if needed clamp over the joint line, and drive in the screws. 
The key to an accurate joint is holding both pieces of wood flush with a clamp, especially when joining hardwoods. Craig has three different sizes of face clamps that are made specifically for holding the rail and a joining piece perfectly flush as the screw is driven. For repeated joining of face frames, Craig even manufactures a clamping table for the fastest joining. Leg and rail joints are the key element for building tables, chairs, workbenches, and more. There are typically two different design options that include either a setback or flush rail. To get a flush rail to the edge of the leg, simply clamp the leg to the workbench and drive screws from the rail to the leg. You can also offset the rail to give some depth and definition to the project. To do this, use spacers that are the same thickness as your desired setback and lay them under the rails. Clamp the leg as before and drive the screws to create the setback. Craig joints make quality tables and chairs quickly and easily. Edge joining is used to assemble workpieces edge to edge for projects like tabletops, serving trays, or footstool tops. For the best result, join boards no wider than six inches and alternate the wood grain direction on each board to avoid cupping and bowing. It is important that your wood be the same thickness to assure a flush top that will only require minimal sanding to finish. This can be achieved by planing the pieces or by purchasing S4S wood that is already surfaced on four sides. To create a joint, drill your pocket holes every six to eight inches across the length of the board. Make sure that the large pad of the clamp is on the finished side of the joint line to keep the work pieces flush. Then drive the screws. This will create the flattest and strongest surface. Craig's large face clamp is an excellent clamp for this application. Edge banding is an easy way to make bookcases, desks, and countertops look professional. It's also a good way to cover exposed plywood edges. And when finished, you can add visual appeal to your project by routing a profile onto the edge banded piece. To add an edge band, first drill a pocket hole into the plywood two inches from the edge. Then add one or two holes every six to eight inches. To get a flush joint, clamp the edge banding piece securely to a flat surface, then connect to the surface material by driving self-tapping screws along the edge. Craig joints can be used to make custom picture frames when following these tips. First, we suggest that the frame material needs to be at least three inches wide, as joining will become easier with a wider frame. Many frames also incorporate a standard rabbet into the inside edge of the frame that serves to allow the glass, picture, and backing material to be secured. The key to this joint is cutting an accurate 45-degree angle on all corners with a miter saw or table saw. Place the 45-degree cut edge flat on the base of the Craig jig. Carefully position the piece so that the hole you drill will not break through the edge of the workpiece. Then drill two pocket holes into the edge of the boards. Use a face clamp over the joint line to hold the frame into position while driving the screws to create the flattest surface possible. Ninety-degree panel joints are important for building bookshelves, cabinets, and more. Large pieces can be hard to control, so make sure to firmly clamp the wood while drilling. Drill the first hole two inches in from the edge and add holes every six to eight inches across the length of the material. A simple way to place these joints accurately is to first draw a line indicating the joint location, then clamp a straight edge on the top side of the line. Place the shelf against the straight edge. When you drive the screws, they will pull the shelf into alignment. You may also choose to cut a spacer 
or a piece of wood that is exactly the space you want between shelves. Then align your wood against the spacer when driving the screws. Craig makes a right angle clamp specifically designed to make this type of joint. With a right angle clamp, place the pin of the clamp into a hole and clamp securely. Then drive a screw into the next nearest pocket hole. Move the clamp and repeat. Craig joints are a good way to attach tabletops to a leg and rail assembly. Prior to attaching, apply finish to both sides of the tabletop to avoid warping. Drill pocket holes into the apron rails of the table or chair every six to eight inches. Then center the tabletop to the base and attach through the aprons using pocket hole screws. Note that if you do not use glue in these joints, you will be able to remove the tabletop at a future time. Craig joints are good for repair. All it takes is adding a Craig joint wherever you need additional strength or to bring wood back together. The drill guide is portable to make repairs even easier. All that is required is a face clamp to hold it in place while drilling a hole. And your user guide explains how to put the drill guide at the right height to drill the hole accurately. To make repairs even easier, your jig comes with a spacer block that automatically places the jig at the right height for three-quarter inch material. Just snap the spacer onto the drill guide and place the bottom of the spacer flush with the wood to which you are joining. The hole will be placed correctly for the repair. With your project complete, Simple choices will enhance the look of your finished piece. A final sanding of the joints will give your piece a smoother, more professional appearance. You can also choose to round over edges with a router to add polish. There's an ever-expanding range of finishing products available at wood and home stores. Many of these finishes have been made easier to apply in recent years. We recommend discussing your finish options with a professional at the store. When pocket holes are exposed, Craig offers a variety of wood and plastic plugs to conceal your pocket holes. The plastic plugs come in a range of colors and easily seat in the pocket hole. The wood plugs require some sanding to make them flush against your surface. In either case, you can choose the plugs to fit with or contrast with your wood in order to create the best possible finished product. Craig joints make building angles and curves easier, but these are advanced skills that may take time and experience to master. Once you understand the concept, this same technique can be used to join almost any angle, and angled joints can be finished to create smooth arcs. The resulting solid wood corner is more resistant to wear and abuse. If you try to create angle joints with other dowels or biscuits, you have to figure out how to clamp an awkward joint and often end up with bowing, gaps, or misalignment. But with a Craig joint, the screws put constant pressure along the joint line, which pulls the two flat surfaces tightly together, ensuring a tight joint. This application is ideal for building angled or curved surfaces. One typical application is creating a curved bar front. Check Craig's website to learn more about creating angles and curves. Visit craigtool.com today to see new Craig products in action, learn more woodworking skills, download project plans, and more.